and welcome to Drinks with Jenny. In today's beer review, I'm going to be trying Flying Sailor from Black Rocks Brewery up in Marquette, Michigan. And this is a, oh my gosh, uh, a Red Rye IPA. And so it's a limited release. And this is a, an IPA that combines Faulkner's Flight and Faulkner's Seven Seas hats along with malt and rye to form the perfect storm of flavor Roman color. Um, and I'm excited to try this one. I really love rye IPAs. I love the spiciness and that bite you get from rye. So I'm really excited to try this beer. And I love the can design with um, black rocks and then flying sailor. And like it's been like, they're out on Lake Superior because they are based in Marquette. Um, and yeah, they're a really great brewery up in the UP. And on here it does say keep it fresh, buy within six months of date on the bottom of the can. And this was um, can on January 7th. So just a little over a month and a half year, month and a half old. And this is 7.2% ABV. And I'm excited to try it. So let's give it an open. Oh my gosh. It's like spewing over, I think, because I tilted it. Oops. Ooh, it smells really good. Okay, let me give it a pour because it's going to spew up in my face. Ooh, look at that color. I have had a few different rye IPAs. And I really do like them. They're not like my typical go-to, but sometimes I like that little bite. I'm drinking an IPA. All right. Does have this really nice, I feel like, red copper color going on, and then kind of like an off khaki head, and it's like, mm, maybe two fingers. Two of my fingers are a finger and a half. And then the head is like really, it looks like really light and pillowy and small little bubbles. Okay, so let's give it a smell. Ooh, definitely pick, can smell the malt coming through. Yeah, definitely you're picking up on caramel and aroma, those malts. Spicy, a little bit of spice. It's, it smells very earthy. You might hear Phoebe in the background. She is eating till lunch time. <laughs> okay, so let's give this a taste. Cheers. Ooh. Hmm. Definitely picking up on those caramel notes the malt um, does have a nice bite to it, a little bit of bitterness. Um, the taste is actually pretty smooth. Yeah, definitely getting that bite from the rye. Um, this is good, I like it. It's, it's not heavy at all. Um, I think there's a really nice balance between the malts and the hops used. Definitely earthy, piney. I would say that this has a really nice complexity to it and a really great balance with those malts and the hops. You're picking up on the pine, you know, the hint of orange, and then the rye, the hint of the spice. And then it has like a little bit of bitterness to it, but it's pretty well rounded, but definitely a little bitter on the finish. But it drinks very smoothly. I would say it has like a medium mouthfeel. Um, yeah, definitely earthy with those hops. It's a good balance. I I like it. It's very smooth. 
Um, sometimes um, I'm not the biggest fan of caramel and toffee notes, especially in IPAs. But this one, I, I really appreciate those caramel notes and they're not overpowering at all. I think it's really well balanced with those hops. And the other malt to use, I like it. Um, it's like a t hint of orange. I, I think this helps like round out everything. Um, I like it. It's probably not something I would buy all the time, but I would definitely drink it if I was in the mood for a red right IPA I think this is one of the better ones that I have had just because I like the the smoothness and how it drinks and how everything um, is kind of well-rounded but you're still picking up on those complex notes with the malt and the hops you use which I appreciate very much so if you're a fan of rye IPAs red IPAs and you can find flying sailor near you i would recommend and give it a try and pick it up i think with cameras only like 229 which isn't bad at all um yeah it's very enjoyable very drinkable i'm not really picking up on even though it's 7.2 percent not really picking up on the alcohol at all but this is really nice i think this is for me a good like winter drinking ipa and a little bit of those warming notes and the spice I think it's really nice and I do love when there's a little bit of pine in my face and so I really appreciate that. Have you tried Flying Sailor from Black Rocks Brewery before? Let me know in the comments if you've had this one, if you liked it, didn't like it, or if you've had any of the other beers. And if you'd like to see more beer reviews like this, um, please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. As always, thanks for watching. Cheers!